Guys, it's pasta night at the sorority house, and we're doing manicotti. First things first, though, we gotta put on our play clothes. I know you guys see me wearing t-shirts in the kitchen a lot, but uh, really, I enjoy looking like a chef. I enjoy dressing like a chef. It's very professional, and um, I like the feel of a chef coat. So anyways, we're good to go. Let's start cooking. I'm going to grab my bowl, and the first thing we're doing is making our manicotti filling. So I got three tubs of ricotta cheese. Now I'm going to add two eggs for each tub. So that's six eggs. We're just going to throw them right in there. I'm going to add some salt, some black pepper, I'm going to go ahead and add a big old glob of garlic in there. you got to have your garlic. And then I'm going to add a couple cheeses, some shredded mozzarella and some shredded parmesan. That's good. Now we'll add the spinach. We're doing a spinach and cheese manicotti today, guys. So I'm just going to give this a little julienne, kind of rough chop, you know, throw it right in there. Now for the fun part. We're going to mix. I really enjoy doing things like this. It's like playing in a bowl of mud. Just get in there and mush it all around. Be sure you get all the eggs broke up. That clump of garlic, you want to get that evenly distributed. Mix around all that cheese. You don't want any hidden pockets. Just keep moving it. You want it to be able to form a little ball like that. And once you're there, you're good to go. Let's make some marinara to go on top of this. And that's real simple. It's going to start with an onion. I'm just going to do a little rough, small dice on this. I don't follow any sort of protocols when I'm dicing onions. I just get that thing chopped up. We're going to need some garlic, too. Let me show you how we do this in the kitchen, all right? We take that pre-peeled garlic. We throw it in the processor. We add a little bit of oil. Guys, we're going to give that a couple zippity zips on the base. It's going to get all pureed for us. So let that mix around. Let it get chopped up. And don't forget to get in there and scrape down the walls. Throw the lid back on couple more zippity zips let it puree up that's good you got your garlic that's ready throw that in a container you can use that for a couple different things it's gonna work great for our marinara though so we start cooking little olive oil goes in the pan I'm gonna throw my onions down there give those a quick saute just let them soften for a minute then I'm gonna make a little well right in the center and I'm gonna put a scoop of that garlic right in there and I don't want to burn this garlic guys be careful and stir it around. Keep it moving. Just want to take the rawness off of that. All right, quick little saute. We're going to go ahead and add our tomatoes now. And I'm going to fill this pan up. So I'm putting four cans of tomatoes in there. We're going to give that a nice stir. Be sure everything's all mixed up. Be sure and salt this too. I'm going to give a couple little pinches of the salt. You need that. It's going to really bring out the flavor of your tomatoes, your garlic, your onions, everything. So we're going to let that simmer for about a half hour. We're going to make our manicottis. Now, let me show you my little secret. I don't like stuff in those tubes, so I make lasagna noodles, all right? Some of you might say, well, that's not a true manicotti. And hey, you're right. But hey, there's no rules in cooking. So we're going to go ahead and do it my way. I like to just put a big glop of cheese right on there. We just roll this thing up. You can put a lot or a little, depending how fat you want these. But look at that. Cheese manicotti. Doesn't that look good? That's ready to go. So I'm going to get my pan out. I'm going to add some sauce on the bottom. That way these things don't stick to the bottom. Move it around. Get full coverage. We're going to go ahead and just start throwing those manicottis in there. Guys, get them layered in. Look at that, whole tray of manicottis. This seriously only took me 15 minutes from start to finish to roll all those things up. It is not a hard thing to do. Way easier than stuff in the tube. Sometimes those things will break up on you and everything. So I put a little sauce on top and now I'm shredding some cheese. We're gonna go next with the cheese. That's gonna be the final coverage. I'm not going super heavy, although that was a one pound block. So we're throwing a pound of cheese on top. Sounds like a lot, but really it's not get another good coverage on there and I got my oven at about 375 I'm gonna start out with this thing covered a little bit of foil seal up the edges and that's gonna go in for about 40 minutes and after 40 minutes guys check it out we pull it out we're gonna take that foil off and I'm gonna go back in for another 20 minutes try to get a little brown on top and when they come out look at that doesn't that look good cheese manicotti that is so ready to be served, man. Just cut up around the edges. Get yourself a big old spatula and pull that thing out of the pan. 
you are good to go guys i got in there and this was absolutely amazing i know the girls enjoyed it what a treat thanks for watching cheers everyone